Are y'all ready to see a video that's about as exciting as watching paint dry? You're in the right place. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how I diffuse my hair. I will be showing you the whole process and it's going to take a while, but just know that I kind of follow the same routine every time, but I do change it up slightly, not on purpose, just because every day I can't make it exactly the same. This is the general premise of how I diffuse my hair. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and leave a comment down below what your favorite thing to do while diffusing is. Mine is listening to an audiobook. So, all right, let's get into it. So I've been plopping as usual for, oh, maybe 20 minutes or so. And I am going to be applying a foam to my hair. I am actually testing out these products for the first time today. So I'm not sure how I feel about them, but just know that this is not a review of these products just yet. I am beginning to use them, but so far I'm really excited. Normal foam application, open palm scrunch. This is something I do before I diffuse my hair every time if I'm going to be using a foam. Now I've got that foam in, I'm ready to start diffusing. Hello. Yes, I do typically start diffusing all the way upside down. I find that this helps give me some root lift because that is something I really struggle with. Probably should have said this when I was right side up, but in the beginning of my curly girl journey, I would actually time how long I would keep my diffuser in one place. And I would literally only leave it there for 60 seconds. I recommend doing that if you are just learning how to diffuse your hair, but I've kind of gotten a feel for how long that is. So I will be doing a modified pixie diffuse. A true pixie diffuse is where you scoop your curls, turn on your blow dryer, leave it for 60 seconds, turn it off and then move it. I'm not gonna be turning my blow dryer on and off the entire time. I will just be leaving it on because I'm a rebel. Um, but just know that if you want to be really by the book, that's how you would properly pixie diffuse. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start diffusing. Also, something I forgot to mention is that I am a rebel on many levels, not really, but I don't turn my blow dryer on and off, like I said earlier, and I diffuse on high speed. Uh, that is because I don't want to be hanging upside down for my entire life, and I would like for my curls to go ahead and dry. I have found that that has not had a detrimental effect on my curls. It doesn't make them more frizzy. Um, but if you are really struggling with frizz, try diffusing on low heat and low speed. I don't necessarily have those problems, so I diffuse on high speed and medium heat. Also, hanging upside down for long periods of time has made me really flexible, which I'm excited about. Okay, I'm going to continue.
that was about 10 minutes completely upside down and now I'm obviously right side up again and I'm going to start working on the back of my hair now that the top is sort of set. I always remember stuff to tell you when I'm upside down. Okay, so this is my Extava Black Orchid Diffuser. I have it linked in my favorite products in my Amazon shop down below. But my sweet, sweet husband glued some super strong magnets to the back of it so that I can attach it to my Dyson. I tried super glue and that didn't work. They like the super glue broke. So we're trying out epoxy. <laughs> that seems to be working. Okay, on to more diffusing. Now, upside down, again. And I'm right side up one more time. Gonna finish. Now I'm gonna check in on my hair and just kind of stick my fingers in super careful and just barely close them to feel if it's still damp. I find that when I stick my fingers into my hair, I can feel better if it's the right dryness level or not. So like you stick your fingers in and close them like so and then gently pull them out. I am 90% dry, which is actually um, slightly drier than I normally am. This may be the products. Again, I'm testing them out for the first time today. But, anywho. Okay, so I'm going to swing my hair over to this side of my head and let it finish drying 100% on this side because I typically part it on this side. And when I do that, and like scrunch out the crunch and flip my part, I will has all the volume. Now, I'm gonna show you another secret of mine. Let me grab it really quick. I really enjoy getting a clip like this. 
This is a jaw clip. This one has the little bits of rubber on it. I don't think that's perfectly necessary, but it's the medium size. It's not super tiny and it's not super giant. I am going to clip my cowlick shut. So, oh, my cowlick's not out to play today. Here is where my cowlick is. Let me see if I can show you. Here's my cowlick. And what I do is, is I take my clip and I stick the teeth on one side. One set of teeth goes on one side of the cowlick and the other set of the teeth goes on the other side of the cowlick. And then I close the clip. That is gonna pull the hair together over the cowlick and help train the hair to go where I want it to go. So, let's see, any more cowlicks? Nope, everything's looking pretty good. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope that you found this information helpful. Yes, diffusing your hair is about as fun as watching paint dry, <laughs> but when you're really careful with diffusing your hair and put in a lot of time and care and effort into diffusing your hair correctly, it will definitely give you a better chance at an awesome wash day. Also, I do not find that hanging upside down like that for a long period of time hurts my back. Uh, I know that that's a concern for some people with styling their hair upside down. I actually have a degenerative condition in my back and have been treated since I was 18 for serious chronic back issues. And I find that I can diffuse this way without hurting myself, if anything, the, the stretching has been helping me. So always check in with your body. If you are hurting, stop. You do not have to diffuse upside down if it's going to hurt you, but just know that even if you do have back issues, this could work for you. It, it has been working for me. All right, thank you guys again for watching this video. I really appreciate y'all and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.